Hey guys, what's up? JavaScript modules, the ESX ES2015 JavaScript modules are very important to learn if you want to learn one of the frameworks like uh, React, Angular, Ember, or Vue. Actually, that's the first thing you need to learn besides the normal JavaScript because if you don't, then there's a lot of confusion and uh, you'll pay the price when something doesn't work. So let's try to understand them in detail by understanding the fundamentals and its application and some of the cool tricks that you can use with it. Welcome to Texi Tutorials. All right, so the new module, the new ES6 modules are part of the the original ES6, ES2015 spec. And it, as of 2018, they are probably not implementing in all the browsers. So if you wanna use it, you have to use a transpiler, a Babel transpiler, uh, or TypeScript, whichever you wanna use, or you can use a framework, um, React or Angular or Vue or Ember, which already provides a transpiler so you can use it. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to use React, but you can just use Angular. The code works, works is pretty much the same way. So we're just going to look at the module part of it and how to create them. So I've created this React project here. And if you don't know how to create, I have a tutorial. I'll provide a link here. Um, this is using Create React App. And it's very simple. And just to show you how it works, so inside the source folder app.js, I have this uh, app extend component. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much remove um, everything. And I'm just going to remove logo here. So nothing obstruct here. And so within this div here, I'm going to work my modules. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder inside the source folder. Um, I'm going to call it uh, modules within the modules I can create a module file let's call it lib a or something dot js the module files are nothing but js files all right now these files these module files um, could hold some data some service some classes um, some utility some regex uh, whatever you want to use in your component or other modules if you like. So let's start with a simple add function. So I have a function add which takes two arguments a and b and all it does it um, returns a plus b. Simple right? I want this file to be a module. So what I need to do is export this function. So all I have to do is put export in front of it and this is called uh, named export because I am exporting a function add which which has a name add now you can import this module into another component or a module so we're gonna use this in this app component and the first thing we're gonna do is import it here so to import it's very simple import statement and then we're gonna import the the add function but because it's named, we have to use it like this, between curly brackets. So I can say add, and then where are we importing from? And the location would be like a string, right? And we can use relative path, since we already know it's inside modules slash, uh, and the name of the module is lib a. We don't have to use .js, it automatically knows, all right? Since it knows there is an export function, so it figures it out, so we don't have to do it. We can save this, and now we can use this add function inside this class uh, div here. So I can just simply do this, add, and one plus three, well, here I have to do one and three. And this should uh, interpolate the value that returns by add, again, Oh, I say import, I suppose it's an import. Again, this is going to be available throughout this class. 
Uh, so I can e either use it here inside or use it outside the render function. So let's compile the project. All right, so I can see here uh, for when it renders. Now let's go back. Um, here I can, here the important thing to notice is the import function, usually you need to put it at the top of the file uh, with all the other import function. You could potentially uh, do this and it still works because all the import function uh, imports are actually hoisted to the top of the file but it's not a good practice uh, because uh, when you do something like this it's the readability uh, goes out of the window so you should not never do that you should always uh, put it on the top of the file also another uh, important thing is even though uh, you can import this module into multiple components but it's still only one instance. So they are actually singleton. Okay, so now what we can do is we can have another function here. Um, so one file can contain multiple function. But this time, instead of function declaration, I'm gonna use a function expression. So this would be um, subtract function. And this should take uh, A and B, and it's an arrow function and it should return a minus b. And because it's a variable, we should also use const in front of it. And before that, we can use export. So this is how you can export subtract function. And if I save this, and I can use it again inside here. Right now I have only add function, I can use uh, subtract. So I'm importing both. So I can do as many as I like. And so if I do only add, then only add gets imported. If I do subtract, only subtract get imported. So instead of add, I can use uh, subtract here. And let's see what it renders. So one minus three is minus two, as you can see. All right, so it works. Another important thing to notice is that it doesn't just simply import this modules. The modules are actually live. What it means is um, it's not making a copy or anything. It's actually uh, live. So let's see an example how it works. So let's say if I have a variable, let's say let num equal to one, and I can build a function that um, increment num equal to uh, let's say it's a it's an arrow function it would, so this would be available inside so I can say uh, num plus 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 and it would increment it but I would need to export them both so I can say export this guy and export that guy so now inside the the app.js i don't really need to import all of this one by one instead i can just simply say star means import everything that is in that file um, but i have to give it some sort of name so i can say as a lib uh, we can say lib a so it's more precise and here, instead of subtract, I can do this. I can say uh, lib dot, lib a dot, I can run that function, which is um, increment num. And in the second line, I can actually display it. So I can say lib a dot num. Since I'm getting everything, num is also accessible. Since I'm exporting here, so numbers are also exportable, not only functions. Oh, actually, I need to run this, otherwise it would not increment it because it's a function. So now if I do it, it was one before, so when I increment it, it should be two now. So now it's two, so that's how it works. And so now that I have incremented, if some other file is using, importing the same variable, then it would be two, um, you would access it as a two instead of one now. 
So that's what I'm saying. It holds a single instant, um, which is shared by whoever is importing it. Um, now let's create another file here uh, inside the module. And I'm going to call it libb.js. Here I can export unnamed um, anonymous function. I'm going to uh, multiply. Now I've used add and subtract. I'm going to multiply. And so here I'm just going to say return x multiply by y. And I cannot simply export anonymous function. I have to say default. The important thing to notice is when you use default, you probably want to only export, you should have only one export for a file. Um, this way, if I import this inside here, I can use it like this. Import. I can name it here. Since I haven't named it here, I can, since it's only one, I can say, uh, mult it's multiplication uh, from and uh, we already know it's from modules slash lib b so default is single export anonymous export and remember don't use semicolon here all right so let's use it inside here so I'm going to remove all this um, garbage here and now use mult 2, 3. So it should multiply 2 and 3. So it should print 6. And it prints 6. Now let's, even though you're supposed to do only once, you can use something else as well. So let's say if, I, if you decided to use something else, and you can do export. Um, let's say I have a, some variable x equal to 1, then I would have to, I would have to do this. Um, so remember, there is no curly bracket. So that's a default one. And I can say comma, and I can say x. And here, I would simply put x, value of x. So this would be, I guess, 1, right? Let's look at it. And it's print. But classes, uh, I can create another module here. Uh, new file, lib c.js. And inside here, I can create a class. So I can say uh, export uh, default usually you would have one class per file so this is better to have a default uh, class car and I can have um, constructor which sets some value some some value let's say this dot uh, name of the car equal to name which is being passed through here now let, let's import this since it's a class it's a default I can do this um, capital car from modules slash lib c and I can use this inside a constructor so I can write a constructor here and inside the constructor I can I have to have a super uh, so I'm just gonna write super and then I can create a new car so I can say this dot new car equal to new car and let's call it speedy that's the name of my car instead of x here i can say this dot new car dot uh, name so that should print speedy so if you're using already uh, import and exports um, in a framework now you know how to do it properly and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you did, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment. And you can also uh, support the channel 
via Patreon. I'll provide a link here. And also you can translate. Um, you can find the link on translate in the description. Thank you.